Hello, my name is Steve Buser. I'm a Jungian psychiatrist from Asheville, North Carolina. I help run both Chiron Publications and the Asheville Jung Center. Six years ago, when Murray Stein suggested the first seminar topics for our online teaching, he gave us the idea of the four pillars of Jungian psychotherapy. Murray went on to describe the four pillars as individuation, the therapeutic relationship, dream work, and active imagination. Those were the first four online seminars for the Asheville Young Center, which we began in 2008. Now that I've come back from visiting Zurich for the first time and met face-to-face -face the amazing men and women that have made up the International School of Analytical Psychology, I'm not so sure that the pillars refer only to the topics that we presented. The pillars of ISAP are the founding men and women that took the courageous steps to bring something new and wonderful into the world. In a moment, I would like to show you a brief video highlighting the pillars of our Asheville Young Center, and I suspect of ISAP as well. My wish for ISAP is that you would be able to both continue honoring the great men and women that have formed the founding pillars of ISAP, as well as shepherding new analysts into becoming the future great men and women of the analytical community. Thank you. I'm here with John Hill, um, and we're going to talk a little bit about John and Zurich. John has lived here, what, since the 1960s? 1968, Maureen, 1968. You came to Zurich. Why 40 did you years this year. Why did you come to Zurich, of all places? Well, it was a complicated story. I'd been for a short trip two years beforehand, and um, I already knew I wanted to study Jungian psychology. You came to study Jung? Yeah, yeah. yeah. In the meantime, I had met my wife beforehand. She came from Zurich, so it's like all things sort of happened together. I see. Yeah. I see. And so we had lectures with von Franz, Hillman, um, Miss Hannah, yes. Liliana Fry, Yolanda Jacobi, and they all knew Jung personally, right? So it was quite fascinating. It's almost like you could hear Jung behind them, and they would all sort of speak with deference about him, like Professor Jung told me this, and Dr. Jung told me that. So it was like he was very close still, although he died, yeah, yeah. what, uh, more than, uh, well, no, about eight years ago, but yeah, yeah. the spirit was still there, very strong. It was personal. Yeah. Uh, what brings you to your special interest in art? I know you like to work with pictures in your practice. You've developed special uh, lectures and uh, teaching on art. What first stimulated that for you? Yes, I uh, had uh, since uh, early uh, time in my life uh, very much uh, a great interest in art. I even thought to, to study art. Before oh, is that right? I, yes, yeah, before yeah. I decided to, to uh, start, uh, study theology. Well, here we are, Paul, in your office now. This is your analytic space, yes. and uh, where you see your analysis on a regular basis. Every day you work here. Yes, yes, yes. every day. Every day. Well, um, how long from have you been Monday in? to Friday? <laughs> <laughs> and you take a few vacations during yeah, the year. Yeah, <laughs> also. Um, how long have you been in this office? Here in this office, in this place, uh, since uh, for. Um, 17 years. 17 years yeah. in one place. That's, that's a good yeah. <laughs> spell. Yeah. And this is also a famous space, mm -hmm. uh, you told me. Yeah, we are here in the working place of uh, Richard Wagner. Yes, Richard Wagner. in this very room. Mm -hmm. Now, the psychological club where we're, where we're sitting um, is, uh, is the oldest Jungian institution in the world, mm -hmm. I think. And... Uh, it has never split, uh, actually, although there's been internal conflict and difficulties. Sometimes people would leave, but um, it has really maintained its, uh, its uh, integrity over all these years. I think that's a pretty good sign for mm -hmm. uh, a level of, um, I don't know, um, being able to work together over a long period of time and maintain one's economic mm -hmm. position. The club has, uh, is not wealthy, but it manages to continue uh, functioning and it has an active membership. So I guess there is both. There's the tendency to split and divide and form new groups with new tendencies. Uh, also, 
some groups continue over long periods of time. Well, tell me, Isabel, I just want, because, you know, we, we have all these unions, these wonderful ideas, about, you know, vertical and sort of all these archetypal motives, visit to islands, venturing the other side, exploring the reality of soul. But, you know, Isabel, you're the person who does a lot of the administration. And I've heard recently that, you know, people say, well, the thing amazing about this conference is unions are rather impractical. And sometimes the organization is goes in, but this one so fluently. I mean, do you find it uh, easy or difficult to organize these conferences? This one or all, all of them? I mean, uh, how did you do it? I mean, you get you pull all these different <laughs> strands together. I don't know. I think uh, I'm the oldest of five sisters, and for, perhaps it is that, like this. So really? I, I don't know. It is in my blood or something like that. I mean, you seem to do it so easily without any, you know, because it's very, you know, yeah. the hotels, we're going to make after everyone. Yeah. Do they have the right room? Do they have the right bed? And all the lectures, and I mean, it's just... I don't know, but I have you and the committee and a lot of other people are helping, and it's the whole organization, and a lot of people help, and yeah, so... That's, that's we try our best to right. go to right. this. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Although well, sometimes it's not easy, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. It sharpens up our inferior sensation. That's right. Um, when, when did you become a Jungian analyst, Mario? Yeah, I mean, actually made the diploma in 56. 56. 56, but before I was already nine years at the institute because I had the same time to do the university. I was a musician before. You uh, were in analysis with a famous yeah. uh, Jungian of the first generation. Yeah, it's, 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 Yolanda Jacobi, Yolanda. same name. Were you same related name. to her? No. She used to say, you are my psychic zone. Psychic zone. <laughs> <laughs> but you spell your name slightly differently yeah. too. I think. She was always jealous about my why I have in the end, because she's from Hungary, and in Hungary only nobility oh, is had a allowed as a why, and she had just the I. But yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. so we're standing in front of the yeah, yeah. Federal Institute of Technology, ETH, famous uh, institution in Switzerland. Uh, <laughs> you met Jung one time, didn't you? Yes, I did. <clears throat> yes, I did. Uh, when I came to the Institute, of course, I was uh, just beginning, I had no idea of, of all this, but Jung was ill. But one day, he, they said, we, Jung wants now to make a discussion afternoon with the students. Ah, yeah. But he wanted to that we prepare or pre already send him some questions. So in order to answer this question, so it was very interesting because you were sitting there the first time. I had really the impression of the living Jung. Yeah, you know, yeah, the real Jung. Yeah. Sitting there and at the fantasy. And now he sits there and his legs go down, down, down in the underworld of the unconscious. And <laughs> so, you know, this kind of fantasies came to your mind if, if, yeah, yeah. If, if you saw him, met him. But he was very... Uh, Oh, you could already talk like that. He had no voice anymore because he was 80 something, 82, 80 something. 80 yeah. But he was very alive and he was very interesting. He never answered those questions. He just began just, just talk. talking, talking, talking. But what he did was all to, to, to somehow loosen up all these fixed terms, animus, animus, and so forth, was had already been a fixed at yeah, the fixed. institute. That yeah. means this on Yolanda Jacobi or the, at the exams. What does it mean? What does animus mean? What does persona mean? Yeah. And for him, I could have also chosen other names for it, but, but, uh, but I it was so. Something. Yeah. <laughs> So you really got an impression of yeah. the man. Yeah. <laughs> yes, yes. Wonderful. So it, it, I think it is important uh, to hear these stories about Jung the man, because yes. uh, one has such an impression of him as a, almost a superhuman figure. A superhuman figure, and, and he wanted to be that, but he doesn't, did not want to be that. Yeah. <laughs> you know, that yeah. really Jung wants and does not want, because the opposites yeah. are really, to, of course, to, to bring them together somehow, but that is really his main yeah. uh, 
theory is main uh, thinking of yeah, the yeah. opposites. So he, uh, it was very interesting that he wants something, he wants the applause, he wants, uh, you know, it was incredible when he when he arrived, this idealization. Oh, Professor Jung, yeah. Professor Jung, oh, yeah. oh, yeah. oh. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah. he enjoyed it anyway, a little but bit. But at uh, the same time, he enjoyed, enjoyed it, it, of course. Yeah, yeah. And he even admit, he admitted it, he was quite yeah. conscious of it. I think that. he knew he was a great man, don't you he think? He knew, of course, yeah, he yeah. knew, and he, he was not, yeah, he, he was, you know, he was, he was greater than Freud, he thought, because when yeah. Freud left off, he began, that was his... Uh, that was his idea. idea. Yeah, yeah. He went and further than Freud. Yes, and he was very, very sad in the, towards the end of his life that he felt he had continued Freud, but they don't want to, to listen, to, not enough people want to listen if he would know the success he had afterwards but at that time yeah. he was quite depressed at no, that no, time no, no. Freudians he, he said, were everywhere and, Freud and yeah. everywhere and yeah. his, his is not uh, really recognized especially not by academics 